Just before we go any further on this issue, you are co-author of a revised education curriculum. You must feel that your work was in vain. It was, and that's a second uh, issue, Alan, in terms of Christianity and religion, because when we looked at the national curriculum, 2014, we reviewed it, there were hundreds and hundreds of references to Indigenous culture, history, spirituality, in all the subjects from prep to year 10, but there were probably four or five to Christianity. So really what's happened is it's been airbrushed out of the curriculum. Yes, that's and for true. years now, and you know better than I do, yeah. the cultural left has taken control. Yes, absolutely. What do you just say? That's so true. And we've got to fight out and fight against that rather than give into it. What do you say to Dr. Lawyer Kono's view that because governments fund in part non-government schools and are therefore dependent on government funding, they're less likely to argue against the same governments, if not imposing radical Marxist social policy, at least failing to do anything about them. That, that could be an issue, but it does depend on who is in charge, if you like, on yeah. who's running the Catholic schools. I mean, I got to know Stephen Elder very well in Melbourne and the, the latest uh, director of uh, Catholic education, they're very strong on ensuring that Catholic schools actually follow the faith. Part of the problem, as you'd appreciate, is a lot of teachers, a lot, if not all of them, have gone through universities yes, where teacher yes, training yes. is, again, all about secular, cultural, yes. uh, leftism, all about Marxism, mm. peace studies, climate. Climate's a new religion. Mm. So, again, it's very difficult to find teachers mm. who but, are but, of the but, faith but, but given who that, are But given that conservative governments in this country you'd expect would fight against all of that, they virtually have been silent about it. You've argued that Christianity is far from dead. Following the census, there are all sorts of headlines which you alluded to, abandoning God, Christianity plummets as non-religion surges in the census. Another one, losing our religion is, as Christianity plummets. And another one, Australia has become strikingly more godless over the last decade, unquote. Is religion in its death throes, Kevin? A bit like Mark Twain, and yes. you, you know the quote very yes. well, that uh, rumours about my death are a little bit premature. I mean, the interesting thing here is globally, Christianity is on the increase. If you believe it, especially in places like China, where more and more Chinese people are looking for an alternative to that totalitarian regime. Mm. In, in Africa, in South America, it's true, in Europe and Australia, it's on the decline. It's a persecuted there are, religion. There are reasons for a that. A persecuted religion. Well, it is, and uh, there are reports, uh, if you look globally, Christianity is one of the most uh, oppressed religions in the world. But again, the media won't talk about that. The media never acknowledges that Christianity, Christians, there are martyrs every week in uh, places like uh, uh, China, in Iran, in even Egypt, where the cops are regularly oppressed and victimised. But, so but even, religion is on the increase globally, yes, but not but, in but the even, West. Even if, 